What's up challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo and this is our blind sun and moon let's play episode number 17. We are at the tail end of Brooklet Hill. What I'm hoping to do in this episode, finish off the trial with Lana, uh, explore the area, see if there's any fun stuff, and try my hardest to avoid a lot of excess time consuming battles. So uh, as you can see I am in a new shirt. That is because I have slept since the last episode. I was so exhausted towards the end of that episode. So we're in the totem den here. So there's gonna be a totem battle which is fun. Uh, we've been given plenty of dire hits uh, to um, increase our crit chance and take away from the ooh, trial start. That's right, didn't you notice? You passed through the captain's gate by my side. I did notice that but I, I kind of forgot I, for I can forget about the gates. They're supposed to signify something, but they kind of just look like, you know, gates. <laughs> uh, through the captain's gate by my side, which means you will undergo my trial. To clear my trial, you must defeat the great totem Pokemon known as the Lord of the Ocean. That spray from the water you can see over there, that is probably where you'll find the totem. Perhaps those wishy-washy you battled against will also want their revenge. Defeat whatever comes to you and prove your strength to me. And remember that you cannot catch any Pokemon here unless you complete my trial. Got it. Zzzt, that big splashing over there. Do you think that's just another wishy-washy? No, I don't. No, I don't, little Rotom. Thanks for asking. It's really kind of you to be concerned with my well-being like that. Um, anything else on this side? No. No, so not much going on here. Just going to hop on my, my Lapras. I love that they're doing this. Honestly, HMs were... Just such a dated concept. They really were. Thunder crashed over the open sea. Lapras is trembling. Lapras ain't scared. But I am con I am curious what we got here. Whoa. Is that a bunch of wishy-washy? Just dozens of wishy-washy? What is going on here? Totem wishy-washy. <laughs> His defense rose. Okay, so Spark won't be doing quite as much, but... Charge-a-bug is in here. Oh, Bugnitude's like, dead. <laughs> well, uh, I don't want Bugnitude to be literally dead. What can I do here? Gruffers and Sea Bad Skid are both weak to water. I could switch in Baby Nick, but Baby Nick's kind of not really the most defensive Pokemon out there. I don't really know what Wishy Washy's gonna do. Um, Draining Kiss is a special move. I'm thinking. Oop. Yeah, Draining Kiss is special, so I don't really care that his defense got raised. The only thing is that um, he's going to be summoning additional wishy-washy, so I want to be on someone that hits uh, a spread. Let's, um, how fast is charge a bug? 22 speed, so very slow. So I'll probably get out sped here. As charge bug, I'll probably get out sped by the wishy washy, and I'll just go down. So there, there's really not any point if I want him to get some experience. I might as well switch to baby Nick here. If I'd been more attentive, I just woke up. So if I'd been more attentive, I would have known that. Yeah, so I would have gone down here to that. Wow, that is powerful. Okay, uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hope I outspeed, and I'm going to drop a Stun Spore on Wishy Washy. And Baby Nick's probably going to go down here, but it's going to be important for me moving forward to have some kind of status on this thing. Uh, he's going to use Brine, which is for sure taking me out. So Baby Nick goes down, but he did get a para off. That's going to be useful in kind of limiting the number of turns this thing's got. Uh, Bugnitude probably outspeeds that now, but not the additional wishy-washy. And I cut it in the last episode. You might not have really seen it, but I actually ended up having to battle one wishy-washy that kept calling for reinforcements. Uh, and then I'd one-shot the reinforcements, and then 
the other one would call the reinforcements. Just constantly going. Let's go to Peck Peck here. This is going to be a fun battle. I could just send in Lil P and just kind of make quick work of this and not be scared at all, but let's have some fun with this battle, huh? It's a totem battle. It's supposed to be fun. We're in the rain. I forgot. That's why we're, that's why we're taking so much damage from everything here. Uh, Lil P has got... Lil P has got... Roost. Which I can use to my advantage. I wonder if Brick Break will reduce the defenses of the primary Wishy Washy. Here's the thing I could attack the small Wishy Washy on the left, but if I do that, I think the totem is just going to summon another one. So why wouldn't I just try and take out the totem first? Right? So I'm going to pluck the primary totem. Ooh, so defensive. And I stole his citrus berry. Take that. You take that. Soak. So I got changed to water type. That's actually beneficial for me. Uh, is Echoed Voice special? Uh, he's got an increased defense stat. So I'm going to see whether or not I can hit harder. Even though it's on my weaker... Even though it's on my weaker side. My weaker offensive side. He's got an in a boost in defense. No. It's going to do the same one way or the other. Although... Now that I'm growled. Hmm. I think I'd probably just stay in here and echoed voice. It's going to keep getting stronger if I continue using it repeatedly. He's getting helping hands. There we go. Keep it going, echoed voice. Wishy Washy misses his turn due to paralysis. The helping hand combo is definitely not working out well for him. Trumbeak is stepping up his game here. Look how big this wishy-washy is. I'm so confused if this is like an evolved wishy-washy or... Yeah, Para is turning out huge. Wishy-washy schooling. Oh. What? Stop schooling. I'm so confused. So he has an ability called schooling, and I guess he's a different Pokemon when he's schooling. Which is really interesting. I can't catch him. Let's not forget that. Let us not. They have yet to hit me with a move since Peck Peck came in. And with that, Totem Wishy Washy goes down for 827 experience, and that's split between two. Damn. And we just keep going with this echoed voice. Look at that power echoed voice. Not even bad. Peck Peck gonna ding level 22. Any new moves? Anything fun? What's going on with you? What's up with your life? Nothing? Oh. He turned to face me. Good job, Trumbeak. Alex Trumbeck. So that was like an eight minute long battle. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Very well done, Geo. Please come back this way. Don't tell me what to do. You presume too much. She must say that she finds herself at an impasse. All the wishy-washy that I so diligently trained up were defeated. And that's very frustrating, but I, of course, cannot let your completion of my trial go uncelebrated, Geo. You are truly amazing, Geo. Truly impressive. Please take this. Water? Very cool. Water Z move. This is a cool concept. I like the idea, the Z move concept. I think it's cool. I wonder how it's going to work out competitively. Right now, I've not seen all that many super powerful ones, but... Um, <clears throat> what area in Z? Ooh, and a fishing rod. Very cool. So now I can catch the Feebass. Press A as soon as you see the mark. And she can give us some dive balls to help us catch things easier. So... Uh, 
Oh, she saw Red Giardos. Okay, so this Lana, this happened in the last episode too. She keeps bringing up points from earlier generations of games, and I really like that they're doing that. She's going to see me back at the Pokemon Center on Route 5. No. Ah, oh, shoot. See you back to the Pokemon Center on Route 5. I actually really wanted to um, explore that area a little more, but you know what? Maybe I won't. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut here after I'm done with this conversation. I'm going to run back up there, and I'm going to catch a Feebas to complete this quest. So don't you guys go anywhere. In fact, you won't go anywhere. You won't even notice this is happening. All that's going to happen is all of a sudden, I'm just randomly going to be talking, and then the scene's going to cut, and the next thing you know, we're going into the Poke Center now. We have caught Feebas. That took a really long time. That took so long that in that amount of time, I was able to actually get something to eat, and uh, my girlfriend showed up, so she's just going to be sitting right there in the, back, in the background while I continued this Let's Play. So, um, uh, this is the guy that I got Bon Sweet for, for the Lillipup, and this is the person who wants the Feebas. You've caught Feebas, you will show me. Oh, also, while I was gone, I found the TM for Scald, which is amazing, and I'm going to train that onto uh, Brion, probably. Feebas is really a strong creature. It can survive even in the most polluted water. That doesn't make it strong. That makes it disgusting. Thank you. You've been a great help. Here, for your assistance. This better be something really cool. 3,000? Are you kidding me? I had to battle... I had to battle like 20 times in order to get that. <laughs> what a waste. Massive waste of time. Uh, okay. So, supremely disappointed with that one. Let's go teach... Let's go teach Scald to something. Brion, no more bubble beam for you. You get Scald now. That's good. Okay. Scald has been learned. Um, let's see. I'm gonna... If this guy's selling Pokeballs, I'm gonna buy some. Oh, I have a Sparkling Z Crystal. Congratulations, I can purchase more items. Let's see what he's got for me. I'm gonna want ten more Pokeballs. And a Premier Ball. Ten more more Pokeballs. Nope, not 99. Ten. And that should do it for now. I don't really need a whole lot else. I don't like to buy curative items. Uh, if I find them, I'll use them, but I don't like to buy them. So where does Rotom want me to go now? I'm pretty sure I saw something that looked like a town farther down Route 6. And this is Route 5. Where is Route 6? Oh, that's the area that was blocked off by the pseudo woodoos. Whoa! The pseudo woodoos are running away. The strange trees did not attack you, but they went running off towards the Battle Royale dome. Haha, <laughs> the pseudo woodo were off like a flash once you reminded them of that Z power. Thanks, now everyone can use the road again. I always thought it was weird. Ooh, Mystic Water, sweet. I always thought it was weird that Pseudo Wudo um, was a rock type. Like, I don't know that if I saw a rock that was shaped like a tree, that I'd go, oh, that's a tree. I'd go, oh, that's a rock. Route 6, aka Straight Street. So this is just going to be a long line. Is this a trainer? Yeah, let's battle him. He's looking off at nothing. When you speak of youngster Anthony, I'm the only one in the Alola region. He's the only youngster Anthony? He's got a Pokeball necklace, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to get one of those. Giant, just inconveniently large Pokeball around my neck. Give me neck problems. Magby is a cool Pokemon. I haven't seen Magby in a while. Let's pluck him. Defied. 
That's a dead Magby. And Goose. Let's keep battling. I don't feel like I really did a whole lot of leveling, but in the last little... Last few segments, I've been switching up the Pokemon. Um, read a comment that was asking me to kind of cycle through my Pokemon a little bit more. So I started doing that and instantly started leveling a significantly faster, which is interesting. EXP all does some, some crazy things. It's a hell of a drug. Another super potion here. We're stocking up on those, even though I don't buy them. I have a lot of them now. We've got a trainer battle here and a grassy area. I'm going to skip through this battle through the magic of editing unless something really interesting happens. Pseudo Wudo, that's cool, I guess. So that's cut through. Uh, got a little secret area in the in the back here. What's going on? Oh, I just randomly ran to that corner. I was hitting A. And a TM. Okay, sleep talk. Not going to use that. Not useful. That's cool. They do a good job of hiding things in this game. Grassy area here. This is Route 6. We haven't been to Route 6. Ooh! Look who it is, babe. No, not that one. That one. Yay! <laughs> Remzi likes Eevees, that's why. That's why I brought that up. Percent HP, I'm gonna go for a great ball. Nope. Didn't like that. What can I do here? I could switch back into back into Yeah. Baby Nick's gonna come back. I'm gonna switch back into Peck Peck. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing behind me. She speaks Tagalog, which, as you all know, if you've been watching from the beginning of this playthrough, Peck Peck is a bad word in Tagalog. Tell me what it means. I'm not gonna tell them what it means. They can look it up. <laughs> They know how to use the internet. The Pokemon's name is Pecky Peck. So I named it Peck Peck. <laughs> then of course it evolved into Trumbeak, so the joke doesn't even make sense anymore. I'm just saying bad words in a different language. I hope there's no uh, younger children with Filipino parents that are watching them watch this Let's Play. Cause they're gonna be like, you don't watch him anymore, and then. Not really a bad I guess, but you probably shouldn't nickname a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> probably shouldn't nickname a Pokemon. So we got Eevee in the decks here. We've seen Glaceon. We see all of his other Eevees, uh, Eeveelutions all around him. We're not gonna play with Eevee at the moment, though. We're gonna throw him into the box. I'm glad I caught him, though. Ooh. So that's a big horse with some dreadlocks. I feel like that looks like an evolution of the of the horse I have right now. Because they both have the same kind of horse-like body. Me, he. You there, trainer. Can you come to my aid? Over here. Yeah, I know. I saw you. <laughs> you need to... Oh, it's the grunts. Yo, yo, yo. Don't go turning your backside on us. And you, you're that numbskull trainer from Melee Melee, yo. These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves, and you're on familiar terms with them? I'm gonna go, well, yeah, I know them. It's like, yeah, that's right, you do. This person's name is Hapu. She's way too short and young looking, and yet she's got this air about her that she looks like she should be my granny. Life in the big city sure is something else. Themes rove brazenly. Hmm, I'll leave that one to you. We're not thieves, yo. It's a legitimate business. 
We got straight messed up in Melee Mani. Get exiled to Akala. We ain't going out like that. I wonder if this, like, Team Skull maneuver that they got going on, uh, is a Z move that you do. Food for thought. Think about that. I'm really curious about the other one I fought earlier, Type Null. I wonder if that's going to be a Pokemon or really just a random thing. But what have we here? What are we going for? Uh, Peck is probably my best move against him. Drowsy has low defense. It's Stab. Almost Oko's him. He's got a headbutt on me, but even with the crit, it doesn't do too much. I could take advantage of this weak drowsy to pop a roost here although i realize now he probably he could hypnosis me i'll bank on the miss okay he goes for the headbutt again and now we can finish him off with a pluck i wonder how big root six is We keep bumping into like a couple of people who call themselves Team Skull, but there's like three of them. You know, you never see a lot of them. They're just all... Mudsdale. Shall we stomp these scoundrels? Time for us to break out, yo. Gotta tell y'all to peace out, yo. Why are they always rhyming? <laughs> and calling people numbskulls. We'll be fine getting home. It's a Drifloon. He can fly. Give me your name, trainer. So, okay. So she's just saying that she's indebted to our aid and that Mudsdale appreciates it. And uh, her hair is bigger than the entire rest of her body. Okay, we're done here. Oh, Rotom was talking, but I interrupted him. Zoinks, what are you waiting for? Let's go. I want to see that bo Battle Royale dome. Up is Paniola Ranch. To the right is Royal Avenue. I'm assuming the Battle Royale dome is on the Royal Avenue. Traveling together with Pokemon makes you grow friendlier. They evolve when they get friendly. Uh, Taurus breaks that down, and we see a rare candy. That's a, that's a rare find. We got more... To break down here grassy area and what do we got any new pokemon nope just another pack pack oh there's an item left over no there's an item under that rock i saw the the glowing light but this trainer locked eyes on me. Cubone. I'm always curious when you see trainers with these Pokemon whether or not that means that they're catchable in the area or if they just randomly wanted to throw a Cubone in there. Is that item still there or did... Yes, it is. Stardust. Cool. You can sell that. Uh, another trainer here. Dancer Micah. With an Oricorio, which is also a dancer. But this Oricorio looks different than my Oricorio. The one I caught earlier was yellow. This one's red and kind of got a little dance... A little dance going on. Maybe it's like those, uh, the east-west versions of Shellos and, uh, Gastrodon. Where they just look different based on where you're catching them from. And we're all done there. So that Oricorio looked different. That was, that was interesting. And if we go down through here, where do we head? Hia Hia City. So this is the southern part of Hia Hia that I couldn't get to before because there was a uh, a gentleman riding around on his 
Pokemon, I think, and didn't let me... What is this? There's so much going on everywhere. There's a good cave in here. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. I'm gonna... I'm gonna come back here. This is gonna be next episode. What's going on? Dimensional Research Lab. Ooh, there's a lot going on. I guess I didn't explore Hia Hia City as much as I really needed to. Um, let's pop a repel for now. Try and finish up this episode. Looks like I got through most of everything here. And this is the area they want me to go. Or at least where Rotom was implying I should go. And that's also where I see the flag on the on the Rotom map on the bottom. Oh, very cool. This is a really cool looking area. Got a Machamp here. Got Ryu in the background. See that? <laughs> you guys see? Her? Welcome. Anyone here have something for me? Ryu? Decide who's the strongest of them all. No, we're not going to pop another repel. We're going to walk into this uh, PMC and see if there's any side quests. And uh, we'll heal up our Pokemon while we're at it. Cool. These kids are talking about trading Pokemon to evolve them. This Machamp is giving me the mean eye. And nothing. Nothing good here to go. So here's what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll save the game here. And we will make this exploration of the Battle Royale Dome the subject of next episode. So thank you guys for watching and tune in next time as we kind of explore the Battle Royale Dome. And then hopefully when we're done with that, we'll finish off the rest of Hia Hia City. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.